Hello and welcome to This One Thing, a daily video devotional coming to you from First Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale. My name is Nick Merchant. I'm one of the associate pastors here. And each day, one of our pastors or staff members are going to be looking at one of the texts in the Revised Common Lectionary's daily readings. And we'll be pulling out one thing for you to consider. We hope that you find this an encouraging and thought-provoking part of your day. Enjoy. Welcome. I'm Patrick Risley. I'm the pastor at First Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And today is our daily devotional. And today we're going to look at a passage from the Revised Common Lectionary from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. And we're going to look at verses 17 to 22. As you listen to it, let's think about the one thing that God wants us to know today. Hear the word of the Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man came up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He said to him, But teacher, I have kept all of these things since my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell all that you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Now when the young man heard this, he was shocked, and he went away grieving. For you see, he had many possessions. This is the word of the Lord. It's a very well-known text, and it's one of those texts that make us uh, look one way, but then it redirects us to where we need to go. It's kind of like you looking at this video. For those of you that know me, you're thinking the preacher cut his hair. Why did he do that? You didn't hear anything I just read because you're looking at my head. Well, the reality is I can't get to a barber until the end of May, it looks like. And so I figured either I'm going to have a ponytail or I'm going to go ahead and cut clean. So I cut clean. But that's just like the story. We look at the obvious first without looking at something deeper. The rich young man came to Jesus and obviously he was quite content with the religious life he was living. He followed all the commandments. He did what he was supposed to do, and he wants to inherit, that is, receive a gift of eternal life. And then Jesus does something that's different. Instead of looking at the obvious, he has the man think about something deeper. Go. Sell all that you have. Give everything to the poor. Then come follow me. You see, the man went away. He was sad. He grieved. He was torn up on the inside. And there's the key. It's not about doing all the right things. About not murdering or not lusting or not dishonoring your parents. Those are important, but the deeper message here is Jesus is saying, Beloved, it's one thing to do the right thing, but if it's not grounded with something in a pure heart, it's going to be worthless. You see, the man's problem was not what he did outwardly. The man's challenge was the turmoil within his heart. He had not given everything over to God. What is the one thing we are to learn today from this text? We are to ask ourselves the one question, what is it in my life that I'm clutching on to so tight that it's preventing me from opening my hand and grabbing a hold of the very hand of God? What am I clutching so tight that's inhibiting me from holding the hand of God. 
This is the one thing for you today. And may the Holy Spirit clarify what that is for you.